Welcome to the video Reset Multi-Factor Authentication for the RDS Secure website. The purpose of this video is to show RDS Secure website users how to make changes to their multi-factor authentication configuration. This video is intended for registered users who have already activated multi-factor authentication but need to make changes to their MFA configuration for any reason. Before we begin, let's review some basic information about multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, also known as two-step or two-factor authentication, is a security enhancement that allows you to provide two pieces of evidence or factors to confirm your identity when logging in to your RDS Secure website account. These credentials fall into two categories something you know, that is, your login ID and password, and something you have, that is, your personal device. MFA helps protect you by adding an additional layer of security to your account, making it harder for someone else to log in as if they were you. Beginning in 2019, the RDS Secure website will require you to log in with your MFA configuration. You will be required to enter the time-sensitive unique token in addition to your RDS login ID and password to access the secure website. CMS's RDS Center has implemented Google Authenticator as the independent token generation software for the secure website. Google Authenticator is a free, secure, independent third-party token generator application or app. Updated federal security policies require that each RDS secure website account must activate MFA prior to accessing the secure website. This requirement applies to all secure website users, account managers, authorized representatives, designees, and actuaries. If you have already activated MFA for your secure website account, you can replace the current configuration in the event that you obtain a new device. If your existing device experiences issues that requires a factory reset, if your existing MFA token for the RDS Secure website stops working or for any other reason. Once reset, tokens generated by previous RDS Secure website instances within the Google Authenticator app on your device will no longer work. To avoid confusion, CMS's RDS Center recommends removing any previous versions of the RDS Secure website profile within your Google Authenticator app once the new configuration is activated. Refer to the instructions associated with your chosen device for assistance. Follow these step-by-step -step instructions to reset MFA on your device. Step 1. Navigate to the RDS Program website and select Manage MFA Settings. Step 2. On the resulting Validate Person Information page, Enter the email address, date of birth, and social security number associated with your active account and select Continue. Step 3. On the resulting Manage Multi-Factor Authentication Settings page, select the Set up Google App button from within the Reset Google Authenticator Settings box. Step 4. On the resulting Activate Multi-Factor Settings page, download Google Authenticator for your chosen device using the Android device or iOS device buttons and open the application once successfully installed. If you are on a phone or tablet, download Google Authenticator from your device's App Store. Note, if you already have Google Authenticator installed, skip the download and open the app already installed on your device. Step 5. Using the Google Authenticator app on your device, scan the QR code, also known as the barcode. The QR code, that is, quick response code, is a barcode used by the RDS Secure website to associate your registered user account to the Google Authenticator application on your chosen device. Every time you navigate to the Activate Multi-Factor Settings page, a unique QR code is displayed. Note. Before scanning the QR code, ensure you have granted Google Authenticator access to your device's camera. Refer to the instructions associated with your device for guidance. Select the plus sign. Select Scan Barcode. 
hold your device's camera up to your computer screen so that the QR code displayed in the secure website is within the outlined area on your device's screen. If you're having trouble scanning the QR code, Unhide the secret key by clicking anywhere in the Select This box if you're having trouble scanning the barcode box. Select Manual Entry from the Google Authenticator app on your device. Then manually enter the secret key into your Google Authenticator app. Step 6. Once your user account is successfully synced with Google Authenticator, either by scanning the QR code or by manually entering the secret key, Google Authenticator will be updated with a new entry for your RDS Secure Website user account. The RDS Center recommends removing any previous instances of the RDS Secure Website within Google Authenticator to avoid confusion. Step 7. Once you have successfully synced your RDS Secure Website account to your Google Authenticator app, enter the six-digit token generated by the app on your device into the Google Authenticator token field of the secure website and select Activate. Step 8. Select Continue from the Google Authenticator Activation Successful box to be returned to the login page. You have now completed MFA Reset and are ready to log in to the secure website using your login ID, password, and MFA token. Note. CMS's RDS Center will notify plan sponsors when the MFA requirement takes effect. Please monitor the RDS program website and CMS's RDS Center email for more information. To review, beginning in 2019, RDS will require MFA activation prior to accessing the secure website. All secure website users must first activate MFA and will be required to provide an MFA token during secure website login. RDS uses the Google Authenticator app for MFA. Google Authenticator is a free download for Android or iOS devices. After activating MFA, if you need to reset MFA on your device for any reason, you may do so at any time by selecting Manage MFA Settings on the RDS Program website homepage. If you do reset MFA in the near future, CMS's RDS Center recommends removing any previous instances of the RDS Secure website within Google Authenticator to avoid confusion. If you have questions about this or any technical support topics, please contact CMS's RDS Center via email or support request. For more information, visit the RDS Program website Contact Us page. Thank you for watching this presentation and for your continued participation in the RDS program.